Black, Blackie, the guitar player who wrote most of the songs on that last album, uh, didn't want to go back to being uh, Lee Singer because he was Lee Singer at one stage. And um, I, I just said, look, I, I know who's going to be perfect, and it's Tim Rogers. And and um, he was because he he knew the band really well. Um, he was a you know we've been friends since um, the late eighties, and our bands played together a lot of times before. Uh, his band became really popular and he started um, um, getting all sorts of uh, accolades and that kind of stuff when, you, you know, so we, our bands played together a lot. And so um, I know that, I knew for a fact that Tim had kept up with the history of the band for 35 or 40 years, uh, What you know, how we changed our sounds uh, throughout the albums and stuff. So he knew all of our catalogue, so he was in a way the perfect man to... Um, to the job. The only problem is that Tim does a lot of things. Um, he, he plays in lots of different bands and he's quite busy, but we just, for that album, we said, look, you know, the lockdown's on, um, there's COVID on, so not many people are going out. There aren't that many gigs going or anything, but we've got this, um, record booked into this studio to do an album. Do you want to come and sing on that album and become, um, you know, be our lead singer for that album? And said, yeah, yeah. So he did it and he nailed it. And then uh, he, you know, we offered him the job of being um, our lead singer uh, from that moment on. And, uh, you know, so whenever he's got time, he, he gives it to the hard on to uh, be our lead singer. Yeah. He's just an incredible presence on stage, isn't he? Like... Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's one of those things. Um, uh, you can be the most talented guy on the planet, but if you don't have any charisma, then uh, not many people would um, uh, watch you, you know. Uh, so, But he, he, he does have a, a very big presence on stage. It's because he doesn't leave anything in the tank when he's on stage with the hard ones at all. He's, he's amazing. The, the energy that we get from him is is pretty great and he, he's actually like technically he's a fantastic singer he's a lot more soulful in his delivery than any of the singers that the hard ones have had so what i mean is that we we've you know previously on all the other hard ones recordings we've had a more of a traditional punk rock um approach where you know there's a melody line and you sing it and we tend to like double track it to make it sound um like you can hear it over the din of all the instrumentation. So we we normally used to double track the vocals and stuff. Um, but Tim actually he's a lot more soulful. So he will hold notes a little bit more. Uh, he'll um, run into the the next melody line um, a little bit late to make it sound more dramatic and that kind of stuff. You know stuff that the hard ones don't really tend to do uh, until Tim joined the band, of course, and. You know, Tim's very soulful, so um, he makes the melody of the songs um, uh, a little bit more, um, uh, yeah, well, he, he gives the songs, you know, the, the melody of the songs uh, the due credit, you know, that we never could do before, before someone like him came along. Um, yeah, he's got the, the vocal ability to um, do all that stuff for us. 